Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm out here today. I got Mark back on the boat. It's been a while since Mark been on the boat. Life seems to get in the way most times. But uh, we are out here. We are gonna go today, our plan is to do two things. We're gonna go flounder fishing, and also we're gonna see if we can't troll on the way to the flounder spot, see if we can't catch some bonita and some king mackerel. That is the plan. Wish us luck, and we're gonna get to it, y'all. Start trolling this morning for some bonita and maybe some kings. I'm gonna start off with these little mylar skirts. Set it out. I'm gonna get out there past the prop wash. So put it in the rod holder and hope for the best. All right, we got both lines out and we've seen some fish up here busting. And hopefully it won't be long and we will hook up. That's what we're looking for right here, y'all. Go with the needle. Hopefully we'll get hit, hopefully. All right, we are at the flounder area i'm gonna try our first spot here just using a mud minnow i hook it underneath the lip out like that just like you would a minnow for crappie and we're just gonna drop it straight down and what we'll do we'll just bounce them all around the boat cast them out and slide them you want to stay off the structure you don't want to be in the rocks All right, y'all, we are at our spot. We tried trolling around for the bananas for just a little bit. Didn't catch anything, so we didn't spend a whole lot of time doing that, maybe 30 minutes. I wanted to get out here to the flounder area, see if we can't get some flatties. So we're here, we got our baits in the water. Now it's just a waiting game. All right, we got Mark's already hooked up. Hold up. Hold up, Mark, is it the right flavor? It's acting like the, that's a big ass whiting. Oh, the biggest whiting I've ever seen in my life. Throw him in the box. Holy cow, man. On a mud minnow? Wow. That's a first for me. I ain't never seen a whitey eat a mud minnow. All right. We got here. Is this a flat one or? That's a flat one. It's a little one, though. But that is the target species. All right. A little one. Yeah, they got to be 14 inches to keep. But hey, we're on the board with the right species. I, mean, I already got one fish in the box, so. Awesome, man. Cool. At least we're in the right zone. Uh, something going on here. It could be one. Oh, that's a flounder. Yep. Oh, that's a good one too, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna need that net for sure. Oh yeah. That's definitely a flounder. This is going to be a good one right here, buddy. Come on, Come on big flatty. That's a good flatty. Oh, all right. Nice. Nice. I'm going to wait all tied up. That's what we want. All right, well, we got the first one going in the box, I think. First flatty. Pretty sure he is 14. Pretty sure he's more than 14. 
Ooh, he's almost 16. All righty. Heck yeah, man. Flatty in the box. Sweet. All right. Hooked up with number two. This one don't feel all that big. Uh, he's starting to feel a little better. Oh, he's decent. He's decent. He's a good one. All right, got one right there, buddy. Nice, 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 nice. He's a good one. All right. We got a another 15 and a half incher. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, we finally got two of them. At least we're on the right track. We got somebody else coming out here to fish the same spot. There we go, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, this one feels pretty good, man. Yeah, this one feels pretty good. Right, thank you, brother. All right, it's number three. Two more and I got my limit. I'm gonna let you only allow five per person. Oh, really? Yep. So it'll be 14 inch minimum size limit. He got me. See those pliers that are right there, brother? three all right hooked up again this feels like a good one yeah it's been a while since the last one that's a good one oh yeah oh, oh. he might make 14 but he might be a little small we'll see We'll see. Finally got another one. It's been like an hour since the last one. I barely had him hooked. Look at that, guys. I barely had that fish hooked. Right, let's see if he's keeper. Wow, he's 16. Minutes. Nope. Okay. 15 right at it. You got one, Mark? Uh oh, you might have one. Oh, you got a soap fish. All right, number four going in the box. Uh, what we got here, Mark? Oh, what is that? A sea bass and a sea urgent. Wow. All right, let's see if we got a rock or a flounder. Looks like it's a flounder. Looks like it's a pretty doggone good one, too. All right, this one will be my limit. This will be my five. This feels pretty good. Yeah, he feels like a really good one, man. Dude, this one feels big. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Dude. Look at the size of that flounder. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a big one. That is a big one right there. Holy moly. Yeah, that's a big flounder right there. 
That is a big flounder. There you go, Mark. All right, well, I'm limited out, y'all. And that's a pretty doggone good one right there for my last one. So now I'm gonna let Mark fish with both rods. See if we can't get him limited out. That's a good fish right there. That is a good fish. Well, how was that for a big old flatty? Well, I got my limit, my five per person for me. So Mark's got to catch his five now. So we'll just sit here for a little while, let him use two rods, and hopefully we'll get some more flatties. That was a good one right there. All right, y'all, real quick, I'm just going to go over what I was using out there today to catch some of those flounder. This is my Titan II. It's a 4,000 size reel. It's made by Runcel. I have the link in the description area if you guys are interested in these reels. I pretty much use them exclusively now. I really like them. They're a very affordable reel, so go check them out. And also on it, I have my 30 pound blue camo beyond braid absolutely love that line i cannot say enough about that that company or that brand of braid i've had no issues with it it's one of the best casting lines i've ever used it's super strong actually in a couple videos back summer caught a 200 pound eight foot shark using beyond braid and i also have this is just an ugly stick inshore select this is a medium heavy action this is a seven six rod and also my rig just using a standard fish finder rig just a one ounce weight about two foot of 15 pound fluorocarbon leader to a one aught vmc circle hook well i hope you guys enjoyed that video just a quick trip out there with my buddy mark unfortunately he didn't catch much today he wasn't feeling so good so we kind of left right after I caught that last one instead of staying out there and seeing if he can't get his limit. But the flounder are biting. They are out there. It's still kind of early. So hopefully I'll get on them here a couple more times and make some more videos and get some more flounder because I absolutely love flounder. It's one of my favorite fish. I think they're awesome. I think a lot of people really like flounder. It's a very popular food fish and it's very sustainable. The limits here are really good. You only allow five per person. They got to be 14 inches. So I'm real happy with the way they changed the limits. Before this, start last year, they were 10 per person and they were only 12 inch minimum. I'm glad they got away with that. We needed stricter laws on them and I wouldn't even mind if they got a little bit stricter on how you harvest flounder. I think they should be rod and reel only, but that's just my opinion. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll be seeing you all real soon. But thank you guys so much for being a part of this channel. For all the subscribes that you give me if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please hit that subscribe button y'all and that little bell for notifications so you get notified every time i do a new upload i appreciate it y'all y'all mean the world to me i've always said that and i stand by it you guys are awesome you're the best youtube subscribers out there and you guys are awesome let's see y'all again tight lines jetty rockers seeing y'all real soon